What's going on, Foundry Groups? I'm covering in for Matt today. Uh, and, and as you can clearly tell, I brought all things that make me think of Matt, which is, isn't that a nice chicken sandwich? Until, whoosh, that's right, I already ate most of it. It is delicious. Matt is not wrong when it comes to chicken. All right, discussion questions. Number one, what type of discipline worked best uh, on you when you were young? And when you did something wrong, what did your parents um, know to take away or to do? Uh, what was their kind of instinct? Why don't you guys talk about that? I'm sure some great stories will come out of this, and my mom is probably like, please don't tell them that you got a lot of spankings. But I got a lot of spankings. That worked on me. I don't know if it did work because I kept getting a lot of spankings. So maybe, actually when I got grounded when I was older, that worked well. But anyways, you're supposed to talk about this. And uh, we'll talk later. Question number two. There's an old saying that goes, this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. I did not like that when I was little, but uh, most of us heard that growing up, and uh, I thought it was redonkulous and didn't believe it, but um, if you're a parent now, how has your mindset changed, and do you believe your parents uh, kind of retroactively? Question number three. Read Proverbs 13, 24, and then answer these questions. What words stick out to you, and what do you think the author means when he uses the word, spares the rod, hates discipline? Question number four. As a parent or someone who has disciplined children, what has been a time where you were disciplining your child that has been hard? There's some follow-ups to this. What was a moment where you didn't know how to respond? Um, and are there any ways that you want to parent differently? Or if you're not a parent, uh, are there any ways this spoke to you that you want to parent someday? Uh, take some time. Unpack that. Question number five, after hearing this week's message and looking through these Proverbs, are there ways you need to see children differently? Did this correct something uh, in the way you view children? And really practical, what are you supposed to do to value children on a global scale in real practical ways? What are you supposed to do? What are you responsible? How should you respond? What are you supposed to do to value children in real and practical ways? And then finally, question number six. Was there anything you heard in the teaching or devotions this week that really spoke to you? Talk with your uh, group about it and share about that. Finally, question number seven. How can we be praying for each other? Take a minute, share some prayer requ requests and concerns and pray over one another. And uh, yeah. All right, if you, that's the end of the question. So if you want to go ahead and spend some more time, if you have the time, to go into digging deeper and talking about, uh, you know, how God disciplines those he loves, go ahead and take some time and do that. But no matter what, make sure you spend some time at the end of the evening praying for your group and sharing prayer requests. Pray for one another and be blessed as you go. Uh, have a great week, friends. Thanks for spending some time with us here at Foundry Groups. Have a wonderful week ahead.